Shabbat Shalom. Growing up, I so vividly remember sitting in temple, playing with the fringes on my dad's talit. Maybe you have that same memory too. I so enjoyed the feel of the fringes as they slipped through my fingers, adding new knots and removing them again before the conclusion of the service. It kept me occupied. It kept me thinking. It kept me engaged. It kept me connected to my dad. It was not until some years after his death that I learned that the third paragraph of the Shema recited twice each day, morning and evening, are found in this week's Torah portion, Shalach Lecha, commanding us to wear tzitzit. Adonai said to Moses as follows, Speak to the people of Israel and tell them to make for themselves fringes, tzitzit, on the corners of their garment throughout all their generations. Look at it and recall all of God's commandments. I never realized that the tzitzit on the fringes of the talit are designed to help us to remember, to keep us connected, to actively engage in our story as Jews so that we might become holy. We are told to physically gather the tzitzit from the four corners of the talit and to look at them. Like the spies who are also mentioned in this week's Torah portion, we constantly scout out our surroundings mentally and physically, spiritually and emotionally. We fear what we do not see with our own eyes. We fear the unknown and the invisible challenges and changes that we all face. The talit, wearing a talit, encourages us to involve ourselves in Jewish life throughout every action, seeing, feeling, and doing. The tzitzit provide the means for us to face the world as full participants, setting an example, making a difference in becoming part of our history. So not to become tourists, passively engaged in Jewish life, but active participants. Seeing leads to remembering. Remembering leads to doing. Reading and seeing about the tzitzit is meant to remind us to act. This is as much true today as it was when these words were written. Shabbat Shalom.